Hello everybody, it is Friday, and I am looking to return, after a few weeks kind of being away from it, looking to return to my hardcore world. Good old 1.18 hardcore world, it's, uh, just ignore the, the number there, I definitely didn't die three previous hardcore worlds due to really dumb deaths or anything like that. But, uh, let's pop back into it. I've also been working on actually editing video content for the YouTube channel, turning the footage from the Minecraft But Lava Rises competition from last Saturday into something I hope people will find entertaining. So I'm hoping, actually, to get that one uploaded later today. I want to try to get each weekend's competition video uploaded before the following Saturday's competition. Speaking of which, this Saturday's competition is an MLG water bucket competition. I put together a nice water bucket course for folks. I am really hoping that a lot of you turn out to check it out. Again, the Discord is going to be the place to get more information on upcoming competitions, server addresses, times, all that fun stuff. But uh, there's going to be a series of competitions. The overall winner is going to win some cool stuff. I'll probably throw away a few random giveaways in between there, too. I've got a pretty good selection of uh, Steam games for stuff. Don't know why I had the God Apple out. It's been a little bit since I've been on this world. Was I? I don't think I was going to go into the Nether quite yet. Hmm. I do have some Nether stuff. No, wait. No, I don't. Oh, I do have, I have Nether vines. Yeah, those things are great, actually. Can you grow those out here? Well, let's just, uh, so this is more of a chill, maintenance-y kind of stream here. I might do some adventurous stuff later on, might not. This one's only going to be a two-hour stream because uh, one of my good friends has his birthday today. He's doing a birthday stream, and I want to see every bit of that since he's doing a shovelware endurance stream. And that's going to be real entertaining. So I will be rating his stream right when I get out of this one. But in the meanwhile, I can still work on stuff, make some progress here. Explore the world a little. 28 levels in. Looks like I did enchant my helmet quite nicely, enchanted my chest plate nicely. I want to get respiration on a helmet. I know that's definitely going to be one of my goals. And I need iron so that I can make a uh, an anvil. So I think I was probably doing a little bit of trying to source iron last time around. I might actually go looking for a cave. I feel like I could probably handle a scuffle or two with mobs. So, uh, Frostwalker, that's for the nether, that's for the nether. Oak fence, what am I doing with all this oak fence? Uh, so I was going to put cows, pigs, sheep. Alright, alright, do I have leads? Can you make leads? Oh yeah, I built my nice house. Again, definitely misaligned something along the way. And I think I was going to fix that at some point later on, because it's still quite functional and pretty currently. So, you know, I was going to fix that off stream, I think, and then I forgot to. But, uh, yeah, let's see how things are going here. Figure out, sort of pick up where I've left off. Want to get some iron, want to get some levels. Cooking the iron will also help me get levels. Hmm. Okay, well, I got a couple leads. It is also turning nighttime out there. I see the creeper. Creepers, uh, I think creepers probably will one-shot me. Still, I mean, they have done so on some previous streams, so I approach the creeper with caution. Oh, I got a spider. I wonder if I could put the spider on a lead and keep it as a pet. All right, yeah, I'm going to deal with this green asshole. <gasps> Fuck. I mistimed that. Oh, well, the, spider, the spider's not going to be fighty, though, right? Yeah, that's a good boy. Oh, I can't put him on the lead, though. Ugh. That, <laughs> that was a poor... Uh, I should I should be better than that by now. I'm just going to slap this in here so it doesn't become a breeding ground for monsters. Good news. You live here now, spider. Actually, what's my string situation? I better make sure. Butte. And for potions, the eye. And I need a little bit of dirt. I've been gradually peeling this away. I've been I've been working on lighting up the town. Uh, I think I detoured from lighting up the town specifically because I wanted to get some iron. 
Uh, one town of three, there's a village over here. I don't think we can see it quite from here, but it's kind of beyond the horizon there. We've got this village that I'm making my main village, and this village that I'm probably going to eventually kidnap villagers from. I also, yeah, I'm remembering now, I have a villager zombie trapped in here. So I was working my way towards getting a weakness potion so that I could splash him with the weakness and then hit him with a golden apple. Yeah, I'm st it's all starting to come back to me now. Ah, right, yeah, I need, there's the other village. I need blaze rods to make potion because of the blaze powder. Right, right, right. Yeah, that's that's where I hit that little bit of a stumbling block. Yeah, let me just grab some dirt, fill in that crater. How is everybody doing today? Or all one of you that are watching me slowly pick away at a hardcore world. I know this isn't exactly the most exciting stream content. It's kind of relaxing, though. It's just nice to have a little bit of a chill stream every now and then. And I want to see if I can eventually beat the dragon in hardcore on stream. So since it hasn't been since 1.16 since I've done and completed a hardcore world like that. And of course that was well before I was streaming. Alright. All right, yeah, let me flip that. That's definitely plenty of dirt. So all I gotta do is make sure that guy stays alive long enough, or doesn't despawn on me before I can, uh, before I can cure him, which comes back to me needing the, um, needing the anvil again, needing to get my hands on some iron to make an anvil. I've got some iron, but I don't think I have enough. Yeah, way not enough. <laughs> Unless I can build an anvil with gold, which I'm pretty sure I can't. So yeah, that'll go into the potion making. That'll go into the miscellaneous, uh, wood. Oh, yeah, I can put those two whole gold nuggets in here. And I don't need... I'll keep the leads on me in case I come across to a couple of sheep or a couple of pigs in my travels. But I think I'm going to do a little exploring, try to find a cave. Because uh, this whole strip mining method of trying to find iron hasn't really been helping much. I mean, I think it's because of how ores are placed... In the new one, you're more likely to find exposed than previously. So I've been working on gradually sort of hollowing this out. This is ideal iron level, and I was also dug down to ideal diamond level on a previous... Uh, actually, I did this off-stream because it was so grindy. And I dug all the way down to diamond level and could not find anything particularly useful here. I do hear that lava, though. That might be interesting. Might be worth looking into. Another time, though. Because that is not my priority today. Iron is my priority today. And just bounce my way up my stairs. From my, my uh, eventually going to be Mines of Moria kind of situation down there as I've carved out a huge chunk of landscape. I should take a bed with me. Just so that I can skip the night if I'm in an inconvenient spot. What's my wool situation like? I don't have the wool to do that. Alright. Alright, I'll keep an eye out then. Just gonna go bouncing along. I got some blocks to build with, blocks to clutch with. I planted some of those. I don't know if they'll grow in the overworld. And I know there's probably a cave or three in this general area. Because, I mean, it is... 1.18, and we do get some real good caves in 1.18. I'll start over here and sort of sweep my way around that way. Actually, you know, that probably is... Oh! Okay, that is exposed iron. That's way up there, but I'm going to go for that one first. Easy peasy. That is a, a very convenient find. And if I can get a bit more respiration on the helmet, this becomes a little more viable too. If this was the <laughs> if this was the Soul of Origins playthrough, I'd just be down there underwater mining that out. Cause uh, wait, is that another village? Cause there was the one over there. Um, no way, no way, no way. Nope, it's not. I just uh, 
kind of looked like the roof from afar. That would have been nuts if that was yet another village. All right, yeah, we got a lot of exposed doors up on this thing. And sheeps. Sheep. Oh, I'll grab three of you real quick, like, so I can uh, make a bed if I need to. Well, I have exactly enough wood to do that. Oh, wait, I do have some nether wood anyway. Okay, nice little lava fall meeting waterfall. Making some stone in the middle. Let's get up this thing and start helping myself to the free iron. up a little bit what's my food situation actually really low I need to do some cooking here why did I grab so little food for this that's what you get when you haven't played it in a little bit you get sloppy Okay, cool. More than just the two. Three. Three whole ones. It's a start. Now, I wonder where I saw... I'm going to have to sort of go around. I, I could just jump down into this. Go. Oh, yeah, there was way up there, so I might go up on top of this thing later. That'll give me a good view of the surrounding area as well. Just going to hop my way up here. Been doing some manhunt content. I hope to make a manhunt video soon. Although I've been pr prioritizing the Saturday competition videos, I want to try to find a little time to at least get one of my manhunts up on YouTube. Because otherwise, I mean, I'm just sitting on good content, especially the ones that I've done off stream. Because I have done, I've just been playing on the manhunt network, so I've been recording when I do that. Beauty. And then I can work my way over there after I grab this nice little pocket of exposed iron. Ooh, okay, a four. Ah, ah, ah. All right, uh, where was... Why am I not seeing it now? It's an angle thing. Oh, it's way down there, that's why. <laughs> Can I just... No, no, it's... Oh, it's right there. I have a great sense of direction. I'm definitely not immediately losing track of this stuff. Yeah, there we go. That's the good stuff. Hole three. I'll take them. I don't think I'm going to need my bow right away. Let's see, I'm gonna go up top first and see what's uh, what's going on up top. I don't think there's any more exposed iron on this side anyway. Oh wow, that's kind of cool. There's my there's my home. There's a village. Obviously, the range kind of cuts off before I can see any of the other ones. Uh, that's kind of pretty. So not much of a mountain top. Uh, not the not bad. There's probably more exposed iron around on the sides here. But uh, real quickly, I'm just gonna make myself a tool, a workbench, crafting table, whatever you, yeah, crafting table. Yeah, whip up a little bit. Perfect. Had a moment of I can't remember if you can use beds for these or not. That way, when it gets a little bit darker, I am going to. Oh yeah, there's lots of sheep around here. I'll come back here later when I want them for my farm. Let's see, can I spot any more exposed? I don't know, I'll go down on ground level and do a circle of the place as well. Boo. Let's see. I'm not seeing, I've seen exposed copper. I don't want copper though. Unlike in the Soul of Origins, where you can make copper apples and copper carrots, copper's not particularly useful in this, unless you want to make lightning rods and um, copper blocks for decoration. 
Copper needs to get some more uses, I feel like. Because uh, I don't see why you can't make copper tools. Oh, yeah, skeleton. Well, it's that time. That skeleton's going to have a bad day. Yeah, now he's on fire with nowhere to go. Been there, buddy. Oh, is that enchanted? He didn't give me it anyway. <laughs> Sorry to intrude on your home, sir. Wrecked. Well, this is a good spot to do a little exploring. I won't go too deep. Oh, yeah, I can't go too deep here. As I say, I won't go too deep. I'm just looking for iron. But uh, how am I doing for iron? Ten. That's not bad. And I got iron gear already. I'm good on that front. But, uh, you know, having iron for the anvil is going to be real important. If I want to really, really get my iron gear all souped up, I might need to make a few to combine them with said anvil. All right, I've already been down this way, too. Nice. I'll right, go around the front then. I'll see if I can find my way in underground. There's probably going to be a cave on this thing. I mean, that just screams, come on in. I'm a cave, too. Might be wrong. What am I picking up? Uh, just from my water bucket. Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. That's promising. I'm just going to take another look here just to see if there's anything else on this before I go down in there. Or down in here. Oh, there's a few, a few promising spots. That's more of a drop, but... Wow, where it's got that? That is actually really potentially promising. Oh, yeah, there is. I was going to go down from above on that. Forgot to. Well, let's put some food in. I'm going to just climb right up at there and go for those two pieces of iron. And then I'll pick one of those two crevasses that I have found to hop up in. Yeah. Alright, okay, I see roughly where it is. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good spot to build up from. And if I fall off, I shouldn't have any problems here. Beauty. Come on, be a massive vein. Be a massive vein. Be like three veins linked together. Okay, well, that's still not bad. I now have 15. Whee! Uh, do I want to go down this one, or do I want to go down this one? Kind of want to go down this one. It's got that little uh, pool there. I could break that, have it flow down, give myself easy access. Uh, I think I could stick that landing, too. Actually, I could definitely stick that landing if I break this. Hmm. I'm going to have a water bucket just in case. Well, <laughs> I managed to fail that as badly as I possibly could. Good job. Okay, I'll sw swim around in here a little bit first, just to see if there's any on the walls. There's not. So we'll go to the other side. We will have a little peek around, just to make sure I'm not covering any of it up before I make a little waterfall. This is completely unnecessary, but I want to do it. I see spots like this where it's a little basin overlooking a drop. It's like, yeah, I want to make a waterfall out of that. Huh. There we go. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And convenient. And yeah, I'm not seeing any iron along the way. Just making sure I didn't bury any of the good stuff. The zombies all up in this place. I get a couple coal so I can make more torches. Try to light the place up a little bit. Whoop! Ah, uh, yeah, did not wind up for that jump right. But I'm trying to eliminate the possibility of getting jumped by a creeper. It's a thing that's happened to me a few times. Yeah, get wrecked. Alright. Just 
one's actually kind of working out to be a little bit of a bust so far. Not seeing a lot sticking out. But lighting it up means when I come back in here to explore for whatever else later, it'll be a little easier to do so. And this is interesting. Ah, okay, this doesn't go through too much. Less interesting. Still, let's see where this puts me. Is it just a... Oh, yeah, it's just a hole in the wall. <laughs> ah, kind of cool. Grab a few of these one along the way. Soak up a little of that EXP. Although it looks like this one hasn't really turned into being much. I'm going to check out the other hole. Misjudged my jump. And I've made a safety area. At some point, I'm going to need to make a furnace and cook these four sheep shanks. This raw mutton. Alright, in that. Yeah, I'll just go up here. All right, that's one hole that has been explored. Yeah, let's check out the other hole. I'm also gonna whip up a few more torches. This hole has some promise. And it's already done my job of making a waterfall go down it. So hey, nice, nice work there, nature. There's a few creepers hanging out down there. This whoa, wait. Oh no, that's that's a lichen. I thought for a moment that I had just spotted dime. Oh. All right. Thank you for the host, Bucket Gaming. Great new up and coming streamer. Has some good content. Oh, there's some iron. I'll take that. I can't reach over there without actually getting up and going over there. I want to stick one on the wall on this side. I want to reduce the likelihood of creepers specifically coming on top of my head and uh, blowing me up. I am going to get this. Look at you with your fancy boots in your bow. Yeah. Well, I want you to give me at least one of those things when I mug you for it. Yeah, that's a nice little shot of iron. I got 23 iron. I think combined with the iron I've got back at the base, I do now have enough to make an anvil. I'm going to keep going, though. I don't want to, like, turn around and then come back later and forget exactly what are, where I've been or what I've done here. Uh, yeah, this guy. Ooh, plus there's that iron. And three skeletons that want smoke. Okay. Whoop, whoop, whoop. All right. Let's see. What are, what are my arrows like? I got eight arrows. All right. Let's uh, let's have a little duel, do 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 duel with these do 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 dicks. Where's Mr. Fancy Pants? Nope. I think I'm gonna have to fight it out down here. That's one down. Got a couple. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Okay, take care of that problem for me. Seriously. No self-preservation, these skeletons. Oh, that zombie either. Ooh, I'll take those arrows, though. Oh, boy! <laughs> that could have gone worse. That's right. Fight it out. Fight it out. Uh, no, no, no. You're supposed to... <laughs> Do I have thorns on? Oh, yeah, I do have thorns on something. Nice. Nice. All right, that didn't go too bad, all things considered. Gonna light her up real quick here, and then I'm gonna start helping myself to that iron. Because I don't need to, to turn around and... I should get a soundboard and uh, get some Minecraft sounds in it so I could freak people out during manhunts. Play a creeper behind you sound and uh, watch somebody shit their pants. I won't actually watch them do that. That would be weird. 
But you know what I mean. And this is quite the bit of a bit of a cave here. Lots of iron. I'll gladly take all of that iron. I think this should be good enough to keep things from spawning. Ooh, yeah, lots and lots of iron. I should probably be trying to spare my diamond pickaxe a little bit of durability, though. I, I, just, I just got an iron sword out of the deal here. Okay. Okay. It's in uh, not the best of shape, but it's still better than a stone sword, which I'm going to ditch because I can make as many stone swords as I want. Let's, uh, let's do a little bit of crafting and cooking here. Furnace. I don't need to cook the iron till I'm up top, but I am going to need food to keep me going here. So I'm going to do that. Uh, what else was I going to do? Oh yeah, I'm going to make a stone pickaxe just to give me some more mileage out of this diamond one. Because I can still iron all... I can still mine all the iron. I was about to say I could still iron all the mine... Which, I mean, technically, I guess. And my bed disappeared for a second. This will flip her daytime, which uh, doesn't really help me much down here. I guess it does keep mobs from wandering down and jumping on me that way. Pop, pop. And you know what? I should cook as much iron as the coal will allow for efficiency's sake. While I continue grabbing this. I like the bats. All right. Just gonna do that. Get me some more iron. Right, I'm gonna have lots. I'm glad I went looking for a cave rather than trying to strip mine for iron. Cause this has been way better. Ooh, more, okay. Nice. Just gonna stick a little torch there. Make it so that it's not a haven for mobs. Yeah, lots of iron. This is this is going so far so good. Obviously, those that's going to be a little problem. I'm going to have to work my way through securing the area. Because that is a bad situation. But, uh, yeah, I can work my way around. Secure the spots that I can access now and then fight my way into new territory over the course of time. And I have plenty of sticks. Oop, oop, I made probably lots, probably way too many torches here. We'll see. I hear ya. I hear ya, zombie. Boy, my nose is itchy today. Alright, give me more of that good stuff. Okay, not, not bad, not the... I mean, it was worth it, obviously. I'll take all this iron. I mean, any extra I can eventually make golems out of and uh, use those to... Oh, interesting. Interesting. I've dug through into an underwater cave. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Gives this area a little more character, I suppose. I'll just toss that there and make up for it. And, uh... Let's see if I can't lock this one down a little bit before all the mobs decide they want a piece. Whoop, took too much of a fall hit there. Uh, that probably would have been fatal if I'd gone down there, maybe. Uh, what do I have on? I got, I, yeah, I don't have anything on my boots. This zombie, haha, <laughs> both of these guys want a piece. This one's going to turn into a drowned. can't really water crit, I don't think. So I'm making my way inward here, trying to deal with... Only one of them is close enough to decide it wants to fight, which actually is hugely advantageous. Oh, and I'm out of arrows. Alright. I've done a good bit of work on it. Yeah. All right. Torch. 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 
that's probably enough. I think the new light levels in 1.18 make this a lot more effective than in previous versions. Uh, I should probably do something about this guy, though. Yeah, free stuff. Alright, let me grab a bit more of this. This is a this is a decent cave overall. I really should enchant that diamond pick. I wanna try to get some mileage out of it. Ha! Ah, how did you get in there? Where did you come from, buddy? That's concerning. Oh, and I missed some iron. I mean, I should turn full bright off, then I'd know where he came from, but then I get chat messages saying it's too dark to see anything, which is why I have full bright on in the first place. So, uh. This, this is good, though. This is okay. Hook me up with a little bit of the blue chew, the blue stuff. That uh, Minecraft meth. Maybe not that last one. Look at him! Look at him! He's bobbing his head there. What? Well, I wonder what he's listening to down there. That is. I wonder if I could. Nope. Ha ha ha! Get ru get wrecked. I just. Uh, Made a mess for myself a little, little bit later, I think. Okay, okay, yeah, these fellas really want a piece of me. Yeah, well. Get in line. Get in line, buddy. I literally put that where I want to put my stair. Nice. I don't think anything can really hit me from there, so they're not the, whoop, not the biggest threat right now. But soon, they will be. Actually, can they not get... They can't get up here. Okay. I'm going to secure this section then before I start worrying about that. If nobody from there can get up there, I don't have to worry about stuff creeping up on me. And if I block this one off, I don't have to worry about stuff dropping down on me when I'm down there checking it out. Ooh, redstone. That might come in handy later. Whoop. <laughs> that was bad. All right. All right. Yeah, you uh, you want to make yourself known. I get it. I get it. And you want to blow me up and ruin my whole run. Oh, look, look at you. Look at you there. Can't get through the water. <laughs> I don't want to get too cocky because that's when I get blown up by a creeper. If the last few streams, last few uh, hardcore worlds are anything to believe. Yo. Hey, that's mine, first of all. Rude. Ah, fuck. That's actually not what I wanted at all there. Alright, come on, buddy. Skeleton's gonna be a problem. Actually, yeah, the skeleton's going to be a real problem. Hmm. You're just going to... You're just going to... Okay. I was going to say, you just going to sit there and drown? <sighs> Creeper wants a piece. And once I get... Yeah, once I get down in there, though. I guess that works. Not entirely how I saw that going, but, uh, you know... I'll take it. I'll take the uh, sort of dub on that one. I mean, creeper's dead and I'm not. That's pretty good as far as that goes. Uh, so there's some iron up there, some lapis up there. I want both of those. Uh, I want to secure this before I go back to mine this, though. Plus, I hear somebody gurgling. And there's that, too. That's interesting. 
Yep. Somebody somebody is gargling over there. Ooh. Oh, this this has some layers to it, huh? Alright, come on. Come on. Come get some. Okay. Okay, just backwards then. The zombies aren't really nearly as big a threat as the skeletons are. Headshot assholes. Give me your pants. Oh, he gave me an iron bar! Okay. Not qu Whoa! <laughs> that was startling. I don't need that. Um, actually, I should hang on to those so I can make splash potions. Right. Right, right, right. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Um, oh! Too bad you weren't up above. I could take you with me. Ah! You dick. Fine. Fine. Man, those guys are looking mean in over there, huh? Look, look. Ah, fuck. Ha! Get, get thorns done. Alright. Give me some fresh supplies here. That's not too bad. This is huge, actually. This is... This is gonna be good for materials. Uh, this is the part, though, where I really gotta make sure I'm covering my butt. Because otherwise... Like, it's caves like this where I tend to get jumped by creepers more. That gives me a second or two. What do I want to get rid of here? Diorite. Uh, get rid of that. Uh, I'll get rid of the warped slabs for now. I can always go get more. Where did I find warped? Oh, yeah, I had a little bit of a mission through the nether. All right, we are on to the sheep. I don't think those zombies can make it here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. He puts the armor on. That's, uh... Yeah, come on. Give me another level, boys. That's right. That's right. And I hear you gurgling in there but I don't think you can reach me so not the biggest threat at the moment as long as you don't somehow find your way out and happen to have a trident and start hucking tridents at me trident guys are a problem all right am I out of sticks looks like I blew out the stick budget on those torches I think I just spawned over there so I know that that area is still spot monster friendly ah yeah of course you can't sneak up on these guys you are enchanted to the nines bud what what's on those boots prot two feather falling two that's uh that's actually not bad i'll take the feather falling in case something goes wrong here plus prot two i think makes those technically better than iron Unenchanted iron, at least. Yep. That, that's about right. Where did I... Where did I leave my crafting table? God damn, I probably left it over there with the uh, with the thing cooking my stuff. Alright, I'll make another crafting table. And... No... Uh, no... <laughs> okay, so I don't actually have... I can't make an axe. Because I don't have enough sticks. Because I turned them into torches. So I'm just going to light up as much as I can and mine my way back through. And return to my base. Cook off that iron. That'll still be good. That'll still be decent progress having been made. God damn, my nose itches. I should, uh, I should probably hit another allergy pill on my break here. I still have a weapon. Knew it. Alright, then, yeah, let's... Oh, he got me anyway. Yeah, that's level 30. I can do a little enchanting now, can't I? Yeah, I see you there, Mr. 
also enchanted. Noticing a lot of you fellows are enchanted on hardcore mode. Makes sense. Some of these guys got more enchantments than I do. Eh, of course he didn't drop his pants. Why would he? I mean, I drop every single thing when I die, but... Uh, no, 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 those rules aren't for everybody. Man, this goes... This goes down. Well, yeah, I'm gonna do my plan. I'm gonna mine my way back out. I'll come back here later to explore more of it. But for now, it has plenty of what I need. For, plus... Plus a few things that I don't need. And something that I really need, actually. I see two Endermen there. Whoop. Those are unnecessary hits that I'm taking. Food supply is going to be bad. Uh, dealing with the creeper is going to be a problem. Actually, I can take him out. I'll take him out real quick. Yeah, see? Creeper done. Let's put these guys in a boat. Can't believe there's two of them. One of them's gonna teleport away before I get a chance to do anything with this. Isn't he? Get in. Yeah, 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 alright. He dropped an eye. Uh, he dropped a pearl. I almost called it an eye. It's uh, one part away from being an eye. So I'm sure you can see where I came into that. Now, where's he going? He's just running off on me, huh? This is... This is dangerous. Uh, well, you know, there's a... When, when you can't get him to line up for your boat, there's always a... Oh, wait. Never mind. I, you dick. You baiting me? I think he's baiting me. There's always plan B. I appreciate that greatly, Bucket Gaming. And of course, whenever I'm on, whenever I'm not streaming and I see you are, I like hosting. I like to try to host somebody whenever I get the opportunity. You know, getting those uh, small streamers to be a little bit bigger. Oh, yeah, I got your freebie on me, huh? All right, yeah, this is a good opportunity for me to GTFO. Attack of opportunity on some goods along the way, but I got two pearls out of that. That's freaking great. Let me get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. And fuck this single piece of that. Much appreciated. Folks should definitely check out your channel as well. Just drop that in the chat there real quick. And grab me some goods on the way out. Maybe another level or two. I've lit up enough of it to make this relatively safe. There's all my torches gone. Look at that guy. He'd do it. He'd do okay in the Nether. Look at that guy though. That guy. That guy can fuck right off. Man, there's still a surprising amount of mobs here for all the torches I've been placing around. Yeah, yeah. Look, one of you guys gave me this. Yeah. I would have wanted to mug that guy for... Oh! Did that creeper just despawn in front of me? Alright. Okay. Yeah, here. Helmet. Uh, not very useful. I might turn it into a nugget. Just toss it into the auto smelt with everything else. That way I can make some golden carrots. Probably got enough to make a few golden carrots now, actually. Ooh, that's good. Um, all right, yeah, I want that, and I want that. <laughs> oh, look at these dickheads. I'm just gonna save myself a bit. Okay, wow, you, you really came at me. Sometimes you're just up in a corner chilling, and sometimes you're like, all aboard the pain train. Actually, yeah, I can t I can take that sword from him, maybe. If he drops it. Now, of course he of course he wouldn't drop it. I mean, 
Gonna stream tonight with more drinks. Fun time. All right, yeah. Well, once I get out from hosting Level Up Leo's birthday stream, I'm definitely gonna be checking out that then. That looks like a good time. I, I'm gonna, like, Leo is streaming. I'm gonna slash host him to make sure that I'm, you know, trying to give him a little more of a platform as he continues to, or as he attempts to survive a shovelware endurance sort of thing. So he's got a bunch of shovelware games. He had some community suggestions for those. So he's gonna, <laughs> he's gonna be some real gems that he's gonna try to get his way through, I think. Looking forward to it. Dang, this is a good iron vein. Okay, I'll take that. Yeah, look at look at all this iron. This is gonna be good. I'll be able to haul a nice little shot of XP out of the auto smelt later. Did I hear? For a second, I thought I heard. Um... Oh no, it's a glow squid. Okay, it means there's a water pocket there. I thought for a moment I was hearing amethyst. There's this guy coming around the corner at me. I'll come back and go up there later for that iron. I'm just getting the easy iron for now. It's a relatively easy iron as I work my way back out. Like, obviously this. This is some easy, easy iron. We've got quite a nice little haul going on here. Oh, yeah, of course, of course. Ah, feck. How do I, uh... Crap, that, that is actually a little in the way. I will fix that here in a moment with some blocks. Is that straight up just a source block in there, or can I... Ah, yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Alright, all I gotta do is stay put here while the water drains off of me. Yeah, and definitely some to mine down below. Psh, of course. Yeah, yeah. Get in my inventory. Uh, that's good enough for that. I might, I might go for that, actually, before I find my way back to base. Damn, okay, good little shot of iron there, too. Do I want to just, uh... Yeah, do that. Make my life a little bit easier here. iron there. This is proving to be a pretty good cave. Actually, I'm glad I went looking for one. Ooh, I got so much iron now. I got a stack and then some. That'll be real handy. That'll, that'll give me some levels out of the auto smelt. I'm going to need to do a fresh harvest of bamboo when I'm up there. And uh, I think maybe another lava bucket. Oh yeah, I do have a lava bucket on me. Alright, I think that is plenty for me to come in here for for now. I'm going to swim my way back up. Wait, wait, where did I... Whoop. Where did I leave that? Oh no, I'm in a cave in a cave, okay. It's not so bad. I'll come back for you later. <gasps> oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I almost uh, did a dumb move there. Let's see, I'm doing okay on that. Soak up some more levels. Oh, that just froze for a hot second. Jeez, I got some messages coming in on the Discord over there. Uh, yeah, it's Bucket. Cool, cool, cool. That's a few. I'll check those out later then. 
Yeah. That's where I left those goods. I'll leave that there. I That'll come in handy later. Now, where did I come in? How did I get into this place? Oh, right. And it's daytime out? Perfect. Fuck. All right. All right. Come on. Come on. I don't know how you got up there. What with all the torches? No room for a torch, huh? Fuck off. And a site. Nobody likes you. <laughs> she just petitioned for Minecraft to delete Andesite. It is the worst block. Please delete. Alright, we're still uh, bright out up there. I can just do this. Don't have to worry about getting jumped by mobs up top. And yeah, looky, looky here, looky here. I'm going to make the most of this trip. Get on my rope. Where is another one? Oh, you... Dick. You dick. Alright, come on. Come on, sheeps. I see the chimkin. So I'm only streaming for... Uh, Another hour and nine minutes, roughly, I think, if my math is right. I'm bad at math, so maybe not. But anyway, I'm only streaming until 4 p.m. my time. Because then I'm going to switch over. We're going to raid Leo's stream. I'm going to slash host Leo's stream. Uh, Leo is doing his birthday stream, and I don't want to... I, I don't want to overlap that one. Yeah, come on. Come on. I need some gates, don't I? Because I can put them in and then have... I'll figure out a solution. There we go. That's great. Let me start sorting some stuff. I'll deal with those sheep in a moment. Yeah, you can go in there. You can go in there. What am I wearing? Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> Enchanted, right. Enchanting, boop. Potion making, get rid of that. Uh, that, that. Actually, no, no, that's good, that's good, that's good. Miscellaneous. String. Hmm. Tools. Got myself a couple more of those bad boys. Uh, dirt sand, I've tossed the glass in there. I don't think I need glass on me right now. Uh, a little bit of iron right out of the... Right out of that whole lot of iron. I'll toss miscellaneous for you as well. I got arrows. Alright, so what I need is to make some gates. Do I already have some gates floating around is the question. I do not. So if I want gates, well first I want to make... Okay, so grab wood. Make sticks. Make axe. Cut down birch to make gates. So that way the gates are a different color than the rest of it. Makes it easy for me to spot where the gate is. Getting that one. Is that going to be enough? I wonder. We will see. We will see. Oh, yeah, they do grow. Nice. Ha <laughs> ha. Beautiful. I love that. Love to see it. All right. So gate. Wait, really? What? Oh, right, because, uh, yeah, gate. Okay, two blocks and four sticks. I'll just whip up some sticks. Nope, it's the other way. Oh, good thing I didn't just uh, autopilot click. Whoop. Perfect. The perfect amount. That's you. That's you. 
and then I can shear these guys for carpets to make getting in and out of here easier. Uh, no, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> yeah, you live here now. Now, this is your home. I'm going to make you make more sheeps. Yeah. But I'll do that in a moment. I want to get the old auto smelt online. So I'm just going to chop down a shot of... Uh... Okay, got some fuel going on in here. That should be plenty to keep her going. Nice, nice. I'll grab 21 steaks. Yeah, let's just uh, grab a little more fuel before I online the auto smelt. I'll also feed it a nice fresh bucket of lava, since I know where I can get some more lava. I like the sound this makes. Nice free fuel to keep things going while I don't pay attention. That'll be how we do. Actually, I think that's about it for that. I'm going to grab this, see if there's any more uh, lava to be had over at my little lava repository? Did I get every drop? No, I did not. Perfect. All right, all right. Things are things are coming along pretty nicely. Oh yeah, I picked up some gold too. I might as well toss that in. And do I have anything else that I need to cook right now? Tools. How do I not have shears? That's weird. Rocks. I'm going to hang on to that. Obvious reasons. Fuel. I'll just toss that over there. This is this is going with me, though. Definitely going to need some wood for torches. Yeah. All right. Oh, nice. Didn't think it was close enough yet. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. I'm going to have to fix those, I think. Well, um... Armor. Hey, I have some leather boots I can uh, shove it together with. Ooh, and I have a partially broken shield. And pants. Do I have pants? No, I don't have pants. All right. Well, that comes in handy. And when I get my anvil made... I can stick those together. I'll enchant this set of iron boots as well to try to get something a little bit better on them. I think that'll be a good play. Plus, these pants could use a fix-up. Actually, why don't I just make a fresh pair of pants? I'm going to have plenty of iron. I can stash those for other things. I'm going to have loads and loads of iron. Look at that. It's already making two separate stacks, right? Just a fresh pair of pants. Then it is... Not quite enough for the whole anvil yet. Getting there, though. These are these are great for nether clutching. You gotta be right spot on when you do it, but they do a good job. Let's see. Nine, that is number three. So I just need five more, and I have my anvil. Yeah, that might seem silly right now, but Prot 3. Oh, yeah, Prot 3. Prot 3, I'm breaking 3. Butte. Then I can put Prot 2, Feather Falling, with the Prot 3, I'm breaking 3. Uh, at which point, I might as well just wear these pants. Because I don't have the XP to do more at the moment. And I'm really going to eat some EXP <laughs> on this when I... Uh, and when I do that in a minute, I think that's enough. When I combine some stuff, yeah. All right, but this is important. Oh, I over—I misjudged. 
Even better. 11 or 11. <laughs> okay, so there's no way that that's not 11, huh? Well, Prot 3, I'm breaking 3, Feather Falling 3. That's pretty good for Leather Boots, huh? That'll get me out of some tight situations. Keep me from eating so much fall damage. I'll leave the rest of that to do its thing. Uh, I don't really have anything else I can enchant at the moment. So I'll just... Uh, nope, wrong one. Put that in there. Put that and that in there. I'll probably wind up going back down into that cave in a little bit, because that was that was some good stuff. Did I jump really high? No, I didn't. I jumped, I kind of launched off the corner of that, I think. That's okay. Let's make some sheeps. Yeah, let's make more animals. I'm just being lazy about it. I'm not gonna bother trying to find the ones that aren't. Like, uh, I, can, I can just plant them all. I'm in good shape for supplies here, at least. Like, I won't starve. I fell in my composter. I don't need all these seeds. I have so many. Wow, that one went. That was efficient. This will be useful for trees, maybe growing giant mushrooms. Obviously, I don't need it to grow crops. I'm doing good on the crop front. But now, let's... Oh, and I should do something with this sword. Or just make a better... Make another sword, really. Uh, yeah. Don't know where my shears went from before. Uh, maybe I threw them out thinking I didn't need them. I don't know, that was dumb. Sheeps. Ha <laughs> little baby sheep. Meh. <laughs> is that enough? Yeah, that is enough. Nice. Alright, so I'll put one... I'm dumb. I will put one here. I will put one here. And I will put one here for now. I'll make more later. Meh. Cool, 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 cool. Look at that. One, two, three, four, four, six, seven, eight. Keep the mobs from spawning on me. And here we have... Ah, Cower 3. This is the source of my books and a lot of my food. Hey, 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 hey. Get out of the way. Get out of the way there. Wait your turn. Don't be greedy. Yeah, I hear ya. I'm gonna run around make sure I'm not missing any of the goods. And yeah, there's turtles like crazy because I've been breeding turtles over there. Hey, Leo! Welcome to the stream. You've caught me with a little less than an hour to go before I go ahead and raid another very interesting stream today that I've been looking forward to. Some some guy is going to take on a bunch of shovelware, and I got to see how that plays out. I think it's his birthday or something. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I can't even joke about that because really, um, even if you weren't here, you're you're one of the better people that I know. You're you're easily one of the best people that I know, really. So I'm looking forward to your birthday stream quite a bit. Man, can you stop my stream? No, nobody's making me do anything though. I chose this path. 
I've usually been okay with a little bit of overlap on our Friday streams, because then it always gives me somebody to raid, but I don't, I was, like, as soon as you announced what you were doing, that you were doing a birthday stream, and that you were going to do shovelware, I'm like, I'm not missing a second of that. I'll have it up on one screen, I'll be doing some video editing on another screen, it'll be, it'll be good times. Yeah, okay, that's, that's chugging along quite nicely. I'll take that for now, though. I'm getting quite comfy with my nice house in my hardcore world. Let me see. Well, if I'm running around with an... I need I need wood. I just realized I need to get some wood. So before I go on there... Well, how? How the f... It's like a tree grew on a tree here. Like, that is nuts. I mean, I know those big boys can do... Jesus Christ, that's going to suck when I go to cut that down. Ugh, not looking forward to that. Well, for now, I will get the easier uh, low-hanging fruit here. Getting my goods. I need lots of wood to make stuff. I looted an iron sword, which isn't bad, but uh, it wasn't in great shape because, of course, the zombie didn't take good care of it. Am I up to three? Yeah, that's, this is the right level. So I might as well make myself an iron sword now that I'm uh, in a bit better shape for iron gear. I also got a nice pair of boots off of a zombie, so I repaired those because they had feather falling on them and upgraded them with some other enchanted leather boots. It's, it's not often a person goes down from iron to leather, but I mean, prot three, unbreaking three, feather falling three, that's really good leather. Saves me from having to make boots for a while, because that'll save me some fall damage. Which is good, because I can tend to be dumb with fall damage sometimes. Take more damage than I need to. Probably won't get the opportunity here for anybody to see really too many more of the automated ads today. Which, you know, it's fine. It's a small stream anyway. Not, not everybody wants to tune in and watch somebody do chores in their Minecraft hardcore world when there's all kinds of action-packed streams going on. And that's cool. Sometimes I just like having the chill play. All right. Well, that's plenty of wood. Yeah, I'll do that. See, that'll give me goods for a, wh a while. Which means I can go ahead... Make some iron gear. Yeah. Um, I think I was... Yeah, I was saving an iron axe. I'll do the same with this iron sword. Save it as a repair piece. Make myself a nice fresh iron sword. Make myself a nice fresh iron axe as well. I'll use up this one first, and then I'll switch to that iron axe. Let's see... Where is... Nope. It's this one. Food. Toss the rest of that in there. Plants. Yeah, I am putting the bone meal in with the plants. That makes sense. I'll toss some of that in there, too. That way I have a little backup of vines in case I butterfinger some vines into the abyss or something. Let's see. If that's all the gear that I really need to upgrade or replace at the moment, let's just make some torches. Yeah, put some trees in my trees so that I can cut down trees while I cut down trees. I should remember to get those saplings, though. Rather than let all that despawn. Of course, they're, of course it's connecting. What? Just had to make the biggest, most obnoxious branches in the game there. Might have to go do something about that, actually. Do a little bit of uh, extreme tree trimming. I guess it's just regular tree trimming. There's nothing particular extreme about climbing a tree to cut a few unruly branches. I mean, that's what they do in real life. I think they do it safer in real life, but... Uh... ridiculous what this has turned into. Like, this is made way too big of a thing. I wonder. Uh, can I make that? I think I can make that jump. 
Yep. I sure can. Haha. <laughs> Almost didn't make that one, though. This will help make some of this despawn. There's probably a log in there somewhere. Yeah, there it is, right there. I knew it. Alright, well, I have a nice new toy here. Can I reach? Yes! Perfect, 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 perfect. And I don't care super big time if I get that or not. I might as well, though. I don't think there's any more logs supporting this mess up. Might be wrong. I'll find out eventually once some of it decays enough to reveal what's what's left. But I am going to do this. I picked up a few apples off of this. I could probably make myself a golden apple or three. Do I want to do... Yeah, maybe maybe to this level. I like that they let you do this. Like, I think it, I think it used to be at one point that um, you couldn't really plant, plant trees like that. Uh, the, they wouldn't grow. Like, some of them would grow, and then they'd stop the other ones from growing. But nowadays, you just got to be patient, and eventually you'll have a nice wall of trees. For all the uses that a wall of trees has. Hmm. Now that's coming along pretty good so far. Still got some iron to cook. Then it'll cook the gold. Uh, eh, why don't I cook some trees in there too? Build up that little cache of EXP. Freaking cows. Actually, I can probably make more sheep by now. I think they've they've hit their cooldown. Make more sheep, and I'll make more carpets, too. Yeah, time to make more sheeps. Slow going at first. Well, uh... Well, they make a few <laughs> until I can get enough to, um... Do an awful lot of inbreeding, really. Eh... These sheep are not going to be okay. But that is plenty of carpets. Meh. Yeah, I hear you, sheeps. Make lots of carpets for me to get around. That way, I can get over the fences. My animals can't get over the fences. Makes life a lot easier trying to maintain a farm. And this will be the pig pen. I think I saw some pigs over there, actually. I might go get those. Uh, I think I got time. I'll make a couple birch gates to make it easier to stash the pigs. I'll just... Uh... Yeah, that gives me some birch. Go craft that up real quick like. Uh, I think it's this, but I don't have enough. There we go. That is exactly what I need. Yeah, here you cows. You probably saw the sheep getting fed and thought, when's my turn? Well, there's, there's too dang many of you right now. So next time I feed you, it's going to be a culling coming along with that. So you sure you want this? Yeah, I hear you. It's still delicious wheat, right? I can walk up with a bundle of it and be like, nice to wheat you. All right, let me stash uh, some of this crap that I got on me. Misc. Oh, I already had carpets, too. Ah, I'm smart. Not doing too bad on the ores part either. I'll oh, hang on to. Actually, no, the birch planks can go in my wood supply because I use those for specific things. 
Let me just grab these leads and I'll go find myself some pigs. Yeah, they, see, there's a pig right over there. I just need two pigs and then I can have all the pigs I want, eventually. I'll feed them carrots. Uh, pigs like carrots. That's a pink sheep over there, actually. Nature doesn't make that color. There's a hole I don't want to hop into. I'm only finding one pig here at the moment. Yeah, look at you. Uh, one pig, a lot of sheep. I'll take the one pig back with me. Actually, I'll take a sheep and a pig. That'll get my breeding stock up a little faster. I'm thinking ahead. I could have grabbed a closer sh a closer sheep if I was going to do that. There we go. That's a second pig. That's a... Well, one pig, one sheep, really. <laughs> That's a second pig. Uh, I don't think those would make babies together. And if they did, I don't think I'd want to see what those babies look like. Those, they're, they're Just to clarify, they are going in separate pens. Because sheep and pig DNA just don't splice. Yeah, and uh, have myself a nice glass of hydration. Oh, I put both of them. All right. And I wonder, oh, and it freed both of them, too. Of course it did. Well, I'll just stick you there for now, and I'll add you to the flock. Yo, come on. Get in here. Get in here. Welcome to your new home. Say hello to your new brothers. Slightly more genetic diversity being added to there now. Ah, oh, yeah, here we go. And in we go. One whole pig. Eventually, you will be so much bacon. Alright, let me just grab these boas. So I can replant them later if I wind up needing that much more of the birch. Actually, I'll just have some standby birch ready to go anyway. Life's a birch. Wait, wait, I had it right the first time. I'll just throw this guy over here. Just to screw up, screw up my... Uh, my visuals later, I'll be like, why aren't those all perfectly symmetrical? Oh, yeah. Self trolling myself is why. Nice, nice, nice. Grab that. Grab the rest of that iron. That is a good shot of iron. I'm very happy with that. That was a very productive little trip down into that cave. So I think my main mission today is just going to be find another pig. Oh, yeah, I got iron. I got, I'm getting a nice little bit of gold, too. That'll come in handy in the nether. And also for making golden foods. Golden carrots, especially. Because that's what I got the carrot crop for. Golden apples, I mean. Golden apples are kind of expensive, really. Where it's eight gold bars. Whereas with golden carrots, it's only eight golden nuggets. Sure, they don't have the regen effect that golden carrots give you. But they are still the best non-magical food in the game. They're better than any steak, better than any pork chop, better than, I think, most of the suspicious stews. I guess it depends on which suspicious stew you make, because some of them can give you buffs and give you regen, and those are actually pretty good. Let me see if I can find... I knew there were some pigs here before. Where did they go? Oh, yeah, way over there. Of course. Well, I'm just going to prepare for a turning nighttime. Hey, Sheep Island. I'm going to prepare for a turning nighttime. Oh, yeah, there's a few pigs here. Nice. I only have two leads. Wandering Trader hasn't come back for me to steal his uh, steal his leads again. Uh, I think you can make them, but I don't have... Uh, is it slime to make them, I think? I don't know. All right, fellas. You're coming with me. Yeah, I hear you. Don't want to drop you in a hole when I'm trying to find the best way to get you back to my home. Here's hoping this works. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Ah. 
All right, pigs. We going home. Watch, I will find that there were pigs on the Turtle Island. I should make a proper Turtle Island here. A little more Turtle Hermit Island. I uh, could eyeball Master Roshi's house and build it. Did I? I did lose a pig. Where's the, uh... There's the lead, okay. Need to find the best way to get you to my... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sense of direction. Ah, oh, there it is. Nice. Okay. So far, I'm not finding... And I guess it's not really an island. It's a bigger chunk of the mainland where the turtles are. Or I have made maximum turtles. Any more... Any more scoots? Scoots? I mean, probably not, eh? What are the odds of that timing? I mean, I already got several turtle helmets anyway. Turtle shells. I just need one more to get a nice shot of respiration on it so I can combine it with that one. Then I can really spend a long time underwater. Impress people with how long I can hold my breath, all that fun stuff. It's a party at the Bacon Factory. Yeah. Behold. Alright, I'm gonna stash my leads now that I've got my starter animals. In some cases, I've got advanced animals rather than just starter animals because I got a lot of them. I will do that. I'm saving my potatoes so that I can grow potatoes later. Potatoes later. But I am going to harvest some carrots. Because pigs will eat any root vegetable that you give them. Beets, carrots, potatoes. They all help make the pigs breed. Just going to replant that little stretch. I still have plenty. So, you know, we're doing pretty good here. Up. I will feed two of you. I won't leave you out, but you're not getting in on the action. And all these sheep. Eventually, if I want to get different color wools, I can dye the sheep. And then they will permanently make different color wool. And actually, for some reason, dyed sheep wool is genetic, which can influence the wool color of their children. Which, I don't think genetics work that way, but I'm also not actually a doctor or a scientist, so, I don't know. Maybe genetics works that way sometimes? Alright, so I get my pig mission solved. I need to get me some EXP, though, big time. Big time EXP. What am I taking with for good? So I guess at this rate, though... The best piece of clothing for in the nether would be iron, would be gold pants. Do I already have gold pants? I don't. I have uh, other pieces of gold, but uh, right now, gold pants are the only, it's the only thing that's not enchanted in some way in the iron version. So I'm not really taking a hit on protection as much. I mean, I'm losing a couple points of iron when I switch them out. But it's, yeah, real 1-1 one, one on anything scientific, so those genetics can be excuses. Excused, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's, let's take a little peek into... Oh, these guys again! <sighs> fine, fine, I'll murder these dickheads. Let me get a bucket. Stay away from my villagers. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Yeah. They're just eyeing me up. I have had so many of these raiding parties come along. Ha ha! Yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> they all line up to. T <laughs> that is so dumb. They're still rocking crossbows, though. Alright, and then I drink this to get the debuff off. That way I don't cause a raid when I wander into the village. Because I don't think I'm equipped to fight off a raid yet. Yeah, I think I would have a little bit of a hard time with that. Given a few of them already gave me some trouble. The raid would be a nice way to get my hands on uh, some Totems of Undying, though. I'll do that like that for now. <laughs> and I'll do that like that for now. How many times? Uh, you know... I can think of a better spot for that, I think. Every time these guys come along and I'm like, How many times do I gotta teach you this lesson, old man? Yeah, there we go. Eventually, maybe they'll actually see what's going on my ha at my house first and realize it's not such a great idea to rock up on this guy. Try to threaten his villagers, because uh, it doesn't go well. I've taken out four of their raiding parties now. Hopping along. Oh yeah, I left one of those there. Let my crops grow. Um, this is all nice and maximum... I do like making those, though. What's my leather situation like? None. I have none leather. Moo. I'm going to make a wood axe for, you know, culling. I don't need to wear the durability out on my iron, on my stone axe yet. But I'm going to do this in a smart way. As smart as you can be by jumping and hitting a cow with axes repeatedly. I'm going to raise some cow, some fresh cows and then kill the grown-up ones. That way I'm keeping some sustainable numbers going. I'm getting a little more EXP for breeding them too. Hey, 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 hey. Get back, get back in your, get back in your spot. You know, wait your turn. I should wait till they, uh, finish their business. Alright. Not bad. I'll leave a few of the current grown ones. There we go. Lots of cows. I'll just toss the raw beef in there for now. Let's see, what's my paper supply looking like? Oh, good paper supply. Book. 16 books. Which allows me to make a few more book sh book shelves, bookcases, book bookie book book faces. Boop. Yeah, I'll make five more of those. Toss that in there. Uh, leave the paper with my enchanting section. Yeah, here we go. And I do want to do one more back this way. Yeah. At this point, it's not really helping the enchantment strength. Because if it's already maxed out, I just like... I just like the look, really. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put this guy here on the back. Alright, so I'll put one there. A couple of them there. A couple of them there. One here, one here. That's looking pretty good as far as enchanters go. It's sucking all that book juice out of the books and into the enchanty, be enchanty dealy. These are the correct technical terms. Don't at me. 
And you know what? I don't have enough to afford a full strength enchant, but I can put a little something on these legs. Prot 2? Yeah, that's good. That, that'll make them a little more worthwhile wearing into the nether. Which is... Uh, I think I'll take a little peek into the nether. I'll do this, yeah. Okay, I'm in, I'm in pretty good shape here. Nothing's gonna one-shot me in there. Uh, god apple just in case. If I get knocked into lava, I can down the god apple and I'm fine. I think this was actually a bad nether, though. I, I did... Ah, yeah, I did do a little explore exploration around here. I was going to work on clearing this to give myself more of an open view of things. Actually, now that I'm remembering, some of these some of these runs blur together a little bit. I'm going to start clearing stuff. I wish there was a tool, a specific tool that brought these bits down faster. Maybe a hoe? I can try a hoe. Might as well. Good old spooky, terrifying fucking nether. Uh, yeah. As long as I'm not getting... Oh, yeah, it is a bit faster. Nice. I don't actually need these blocks for anything. I think they're useless. But I need them out of the way, and I can't burn them. Because plant life in the nether is not particularly flammable. I'm going to open up enough of a spot around here that when I do a little exploring away, I can see my portal and find my way back home easily enough. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, dealing with these... Uh, well, actually, they're technically giant mushrooms. They just happen to make wood. I also can't eat them. Which is a bummer. Because food in the nether is a bit of a commodity. Ah, yeah, look at you. you yeah, that guy wants... Those things will come swinging on you if they're not distracted. Actually, them and the bigger ones, they, actually, they have some serious business knockback don't like dealing with them. So I try to take the easy kill on those guys whenever I get the opportunity. I'll do like that. Oh yeah. Hey little guy. Ah oh, no, we're friends with the with the piglins. I just don't want to deal with the hoglins. Look at them run. I wonder if I can spot a fortress around here somewhere. Well, let's just do a little maintenance-y stuff. I'm not going to get too adventurous with uh, less than a half hour left on the stream today. I'm definitely going to have some of those mushroom lights, though. The shroom lights. Those are handy. I really... Oh! Well, I mean, I, I, I should definitely get that. Yeah. All right. Come here, buddy. I need you to get in... My boat. Ha! Whoops. Okay. Sorry. Ha. I mean, why am I saying sorry? I'm going to murder him in a minute anyway. As soon as I can find him. Whoop. Misjudge that. Where did he go? Did he teleport? Oh, he didn't teleport far if he did. Freaking teleporting mobs. Boat. Here's a boat. I want you to get in it. Yeah, and then I am going to kill you. Ooh, another pearl. Nice. I might not have to do too much trading. Save myself some gold that way. My inventory is a little disgusting. I have my boat back. I just thought I saw another one walking around here first. Yeah, I did. Okay. I can't pass them up. They're, they're kind of a rare spawn. Where are you going? You're on a little bit of a mission, huh? Get in the boat. Really? 
What are you doing here, huh? That's seriously, buddy. Can you stay still for a minute? Long yes. All right. Oh, I accidentally looked at him. What's that? That's a fortress. I actually found a fortress just accident accidentally here. Okay. Uh, that's actually good. I should mark that location. Oh, look at all these nether wart blocks that I have. Whatever will I do with them? Oh, I can bridge with them, huh? I'm gonna put a torch here, though. Torch here. Torch here. Little bit of a red pillar to catch my eye. And I'll put a torch there on it. Also gonna quick switch tools out and eat a steak. That's actually really lucky that I found a <laughs> I found a fortress over there. Wait a minute. Have I been there? Did I place that block? I don't remember if I've been there. Make this a little safer. No shortage of blocks here. Good God, no shortage of uh, Enderman either, actually. In fact, this is this is going really well right now. Hey, 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 hey! Don't fucking fucking ghasts though. You're gonna be a problem. Ah, that's quite a. That was too far a shot to take. I only have a few arrows. Hey, I shot him so good he vanished. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, but I know what happened here. This guy got axe crit to death. Another pearl. Ah, yeah, that is that is that luck that I'm talking about. I want that. I want more of that luck. All right. Well, let me grab that up. I'm just going to continue making myself a nice little very obvious bridge there. I guess the red blocks do come in handy because they contrast quite nicely in the blue biome. Whereas the uh, blue bo blocks would be the same case in the red biome. Makes it easier to see where I've been. That fortress is a real good find though. I should check that my uh, that my keyboard's batteries are nice and charged. While I'm holding crouch to keep from dying. Uh, one day. One day I'll be on stream and my batteries will give out and I'll just drop. That is... That's a rough biome for that to be in. But I think I can actually see where the spawn... I've been over there at least. Have I actually been to the fortress? Huh. My brain is just a loading bar right now. Well, I'm gonna put that right there, actually, like that. So that way, if I do drop, I can try to clutch it with the vine. The old vine clutch. Making it wide for safety. Alright, I'm gonna... Go ahead and clear more of my starting area there. Because that's been giving me a good source of blocks and good visual on this thing. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. I'm not going to need my axe for a minute. Probably. Definitely not going to regret that. <laughs> well, I can always just make these guys too. Build myself a little bridge. Making the nether as safe as possible is going to be very important to my hardcore mode survival. <laughs> oh, why don't I just grab these? Then I can use them later. For, for uh, red biome navigation. Suddenly these blocks that I've uh, always disliked, I've found the value of them. I guess I do want to grab this. Give me some of that blue wood. 
things you can say in uh, my <laughs> six seconds. Luckily, I'll loop. Yeah, that's that's better than the joke I was about to make about Smurfs anyway. so good I'll clear all this crap out because none of this is useful you can't I don't think you can make anything with these they're just here to look bad and I know I'll have fellas to trade with at least I'll do that I think in some mod packs you can make stuff with that I'm gonna put a torch here that way, when I come out of that, I know what direction I'm going. That actually really makes my life easier. Uh, continue. Continue opening it up. Make it nice and obvious that when I hot come out of the portal, I have got a path forward. It's going to make finding my way there and, more importantly, finding my way back with the goods a lot easier. A whole lot easier. Plus, having this be so accessible means I can get... I might not need to trade at all. I think I still will do a little trading, see if I can get myself a fire res potion before I go directly try to take on any blazes. Hmm. Yeah, there we go. A nice little bit of groundskeeping. That might, that might be a little bit of a project, though. Get a... Like, I don't even need to get all my rods right away. I just need to get enough that I can make potions. And then I can get back on track for curing that villager. Because that's a bit of a project in itself. Yeah, that, uh... There's no, there's no mistaking that this is a good direction to go. Boy, this is some junk, though. Yeet. Uh, let me just make some torches. Mm -hmm. Nothing's gonna come up. Nothing's gonna come up behind me and take a swing on me while I'm here, because all the stuff that would swing on me is scared of this mushroom. The hoglins and the baby hoglins are scared of those mushrooms for some reason. Something that I definitely don't mind and have uh, maybe weaponized a time or two in the past. I'm going to create myself a little safe zone, run up and take a swing on them, and then retreat. Mm -hmm. Makes it so that they can't find me. Yeah, there's no way I'm not finding my way there and back now. Is that another Enderman? Gee, this is going very nicely. I'm making some good progress. All right, where are you, tall, lanky, and eldritch? No pearl off of that guy. That's okay. Dang. I got I actually I got real lucky with this nether spawn. Yeet. Just gonna fill in a little of this. I'm hoping it gives more spawn surface in this biome for the Enderman to spawn on. But also makes it less likely that I come around the corner here and just uh, Looney Tunes myself down there. Oh, I could probably survive that, actually, if I landed on one of those vines. I'm not going to test that. That would be dumb. But, uh, you know, it's not the instant death that I'd be worried about, at least. Yeah, I've been over there. Somehow, was I aware of that fortress on a previous stream? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I hear him. I hear him. I got three arrows. Okay, good. Got him. Oh, those are the worst. Uh, easily the worst mob in Minecraft, in my opinion. That's something that might become a problem here. Let me see. Can I? Oh, no, I can't. Shite. That's bad. That's bad. I'll put one right there, I guess. Because uh, the Hoglins might spawn on this bridge. Ooh, I think I just picked up a new follower. Yeah, Rage Induced Coma. 
Pretty sweet name, and thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Pretty late into her, but I'm going to be rating a really good stream at 4 o'clock my time. So about 15 minutes-ish from now. Just doing a little bit of hardcore world, uh, doing some maintenance-y stuff, trying to make my way towards that fortress over there. Good-looking fortress. Kind of got lucky with my nether portal in that it put me in this beautiful blue biome. No worries, Bucket sent you sent you my way. Much appreciated. Bucket is also, of course, as you know, a new up-and-coming streamer. Good dude. Has some good content. So, yeah. Um, would recommend to any of my viewers as well. Really good stream. We'll see about that. I think it'll be entertaining. I'm going to throw up my Discord as well, because if you like Minecraft, I've been running some Minecraft competitions every Saturday, and Discord's the best place to find the information about the when, server address, all that fun stuff. I'm just doing a little more maintenance-y stuff here at the moment. I'm going to definitely take some of those shroom lights. I'm going to throw up my Discord, yeah. Throw butt my Discord. Thank you, Buttspot. Ah, the shroom lights are nice. I like them. Plus, it, uh, <laughs> Buttspot, yes. Yeah, plus, you know, I can always make myself a little bit of a beacon. I mean, I'm sure at this point I don't really have a problem finding my portal. <laughs> they make a fun sound, actually. But, you know, doesn't hurt to make sure. So I've opened this up quite nicely. I wonder if I can cook this wood into coal, charcoal, or if that's only the overworld wood. I'll toss it into the auto smelt and see what happens. Can't imagine that I'll be getting to that fortress today. Also trying to remember if I have actually been to it on a previous stream, just taking a much more roundabout way to get there. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how she goes. I just get a single of those. Fuck off with the fucking gas. I'm gonna need to buy some arrows. I'm gonna need to get a stick trade villager going. Ah, right, I was gonna... Oh, never mind. I was gonna put that in the auto smelt. Well, I'll be collecting more of it anyway. Just gonna use this to round out some spots where I am likely to be inattentive and fall off. Just make a better flow of the place. There's a few Endermen down there. Might have to pop down there later. I mean, they're, they've they been pretty good giving me... Ooh, haha, -ha, hello, buddy. Yeah, where's my... Oh, there's my boat. Took a moment. Took a hot minute for me to just mentally process. Alright, alright. Here we go. I don't want to come around behind him and try to push him... Yeah, there we go. Because that, that could have gone real bad. Uh. Uh, no pearl. I did get a warped nylium block, though. Normally, you really need to have silk touch to get that. So, it's a block that I can plant and grow mushrooms on. Even these big boys in the overworld, if I wanted to. So, it's going to be real handy... In this case, I think I'm going to make use of it to secure my bridge a little bit from Hoglin interlopers. Get me a mushroom. Get me this. I'm definitely playing a bit of the long play on this. Now, with these all being along the side here, I shouldn't have to worry. It's when I get out onto here that there's a possibility of Hoglins spawning on it. And so I want to give myself a few safe zones along the way. You know, and not get murdered by hoglins. Alright, let me just... Uh, let me just put 
vines. Actually, Ender Pearls is going to be the safer clutch. I hate those. I hate those things. He's definitely going to try to ruin my day. Let's just see how much progress I can make before he takes a shot at me. Because right now, all I got to do is, if one of them takes a shot at me, run forward. It'll blow up some of the bridge that I'm building because they shoot explosive fireballs. Yeah, anywhere here, the only thing saving me is my god apple if I fall off. And ideally, I'd hate to waste my god apple on such a stupid situation. Might do a little trading with some of the piglins around my border just to try to get my my portal, not my border, just to try to get my hands on some uh, fire prop potions. Yeah. I've definitely been there before, but I don't remember seeing that portal. That said, my memory is a little dodgy sometimes, and maybe I've even been to it in a previous stream. Who knows? Making some warped dilium. I should be making planks out of these, really. Eh, I'm just making casual progress here, though. Yeah, with nine minutes to go on the stream, I am... Yeah, not gonna gamble too much here. My pants have taken a little damage. Interesting. Thankfully, whatever made that sound isn't something I have to fight. Let's get more of that blue stuff here. Just continue my little project of opening things up a little. Making it look better. Making more space for Endermen to spawn on up here. So this Saturday, for folks who are tuned in, this Saturday is going to be an MLG water bucket competition. Highly recommend checking out the Discord. I'll give more details as well as server address, timing, that sort of thing. Uh, there's definitely going to be, at the end of a series of competitions, there's going to be prizes up for grabs. Look at that. Hmm. I think I'm good in terms of blue mushrooms in the area. anyway like I'll still see it I'll definitely now know where I gotta go I saw the I saw the big old hoglin uh, it wandered off though okay oh no there it is yeah see he, he won't chase me as long as I go here but he will fuck my shit right up whoop <laughs> so he's kind of uh yeah, there's a few of them. This biome is bad for them, so it's a little of a challenging biome to start off in in that regard. But once you get yourself established, get a few of those blue mushrooms down, you can very safely handle this. You know, gas don't tend to pop up to throw you in lava because there's no room for them to spawn. Uh, the blue mushrooms keep the pigs away. Or you can harvest out some easy pork chops, sometimes easy leather off of them as well. Whoop. Uh, yeah, I think I do want to get some more of these. I want those shroom lights. I'll blow out the hoe. Just use it all up here. And then I can just, uh, yep. There we go. I can just chop down these and make planks and stuff out of them. That'll be definitely a next time stream going over to that fortress. But, uh, you know, made more progress in the nether today than I thought I was gonna. Given I thought it was just gonna be a couple hours of chill around my base maintenance. There we go, makes that a little nicer. Ah, look at you, another, another enderman. Yeah, I do want your pearl. Things you can also say in Steven Universe. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, Ender Pearl. Now for you. Get in. These guys hit pretty hard too, and they have a lot of health, so this is a pretty safe approach to getting Endermen, getting your pearls. Yeah, 
I'm gonna have to do like no trading at all for pearls. It'll just be for maybe maybe trade for some obsidian, trade for. Uh, whoop! Oh, he doesn't see the mushroom. Ah, there we go. Now he sees the mushroom. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this one's a little fightier than that other one. Almost. Frig. Oh, there was leather. The other one did drop leather. I just didn't pick it up. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, yeah, you want some too? Huh? Huh? Come on. Yeah, I have mushrooms. You didn't think about that, did you? Ha <laughs> ha. Ooh, that'll be going... That'll be uh, cooked up for food. Well, food and books. Because that leather will make me a few more books. I hear you snorting away, bud. Yeah, you think I don't hear you? You think I'm afraid of you? Because I am. I'm terrified. You hey, you hit so hard. And you have so much knockback. And sometimes... Sometimes you forget that you're afraid of the mushrooms. So yeah, I'm absolutely terrified of them. But they are... <laughs> yes! Yes! Get them. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Haha! <laughs> okay, yeah, that could have been bad. Oh, yeah, look at that knockback. Buddy fucking launches ya. Oop. Got a little out of the range. Yeah? Come on. And the little ones come trying to fight you too. They don't drop anything, but um, yeah, they come swinging. They're, they're they're little jerks, and then they run away the second you hit them. Which fair, fair. I'm definitely abusing that tactic myself. Who's the, who did this arrow come from? Well, not from me. Oh yeah, look, look at you, little jerk. All right. And you're doing okay over here. Whole lot. I didn't bring any gold. I didn't bring any gold, and I could have real quick done a bit of trading. But my inventory is a mess anyway, so I'm going back through. I'm going back through. Uh, Level Up Leo's stream is going to be starting soon. So I'll be doing a little bit of raiding that. Next stream is actually going to be tomorrow. Holy cow, I got piglins for days here. This is great. And when I come through next, I'm sure they'll all be zombies, and I'll be sad. But the uh, next stream is going to be tomorrow, probably around the same time, unless people say otherwise is more suitable for them. Ah, look at that. Oh, <laughs> he went back through, um, because I'm going to be doing the MLG Water Bucket competition tomorrow. I don't expect that'll go too super long, though, so after that, I will probably hop onto the Manhunt Network, do some manhunts. Okay. Okay, well, if I... I was gonna kill those guys for the potential of gold nuggets, but if they wanna they wanna do that, they can do that. All right, plants, plants. Uh, technically, that's wood. Where's the other? There's the other. Nether wart is plants, though. I'll toss. Uh... Yeah, I'm up to nine pearls. This is friggin' great. I haven't done a single trade and I got nine pearls. I'll toss the food in there. Toss the... Actually, have I been putting my leather... Yeah, I've been putting my leather in the enchanting box. Which makes sense. I got enough rocks that I don't need to carry a furnace with me. I think I was going to do some practicing of uh, scaffolding clutches off stream as well. Maybe I'll put the scaffolding in my inventory so I remember to do that. Uh, you can clutch with scaffolding. I haven't really worked out the doings of that yet. Ha! Huh. Just as the sun rises. Gonna hop in for a little power nap here, really. Uh, next time I go into the nether, which will definitely be soon. Well, not today soon, but soon relative to Minecraft. I'm gonna take this gold with me. And that would make me some golden carrots. And I got carrots. I got a single. Uh, yeah, I'm not eating. Not gonna eat that. That's so dumb. I got a single kelp. 
I'll have to be real hard up to eat that. And I got a spare god apple as well. But if I can trade for some fire potions next time around, then I can stash the god apple. Because, I mean, really, I'd only want it for if I get chucked into lava. Everything else, I'm pretty sure I can survive. So yeah, look, look at this little guy. He lives here now. Little zombie piglin. Uh, the, the, the little zombies are the tougher ones, though. They will mess you up. They're so fast and uh, harder to hit. Alright, alright. Still doing good on fuel. Still doing good on uh, assorted goods here. I'll grab a little more steak. And yeah, I think that's gonna be it. Uh, as soon as I get the notification that Level Up Leo is streaming, I'm gonna rate him. Twitch.tv slash Level Up Leo. Mm, something smells good. So once his stream comes up, which I expect I'll see him announce soon. Video ideas. Oh, no, never mind. That's somebody responding to a suggestion I made. Ha! I like that he has got me suggested to watch while he's offline. <laughs> oh, he is now streaming. Let me just give my uh, let me give my animals one last feed because he does a little bit of, uh, I think, 10 minutes of pre-stream before he actually goes on and starts talking and gaming. So i got a minute here to feed my pigs and feed my sheeps. And just make another one of you. Yeah. And make... And this will probably be enough sheep, realistically. Until I start wanting the colors of the rainbow out of them. Yeah, that's plenty of sheep. I mean, I don't need them for food. I just need them for the wool. So yeah, not too bad. Not... I mean, it wound up being more productive than I thought this session was going to be. I figured I'd just be puttering around the base a little bit. But I got a ton of iron. I did a little more enchanting. I found some cool boots. I even got some progress in the nether. Like, actually found the portal. And took out a raiding party. Making the total raiding parties that I've taken down four. And they they keep coming. They they see this and they keep coming. They're dummies. But yeah, let's, uh, let's raid level up Leo. And I will catch you folks on Saturday. Again, hit up the Discord, because that's where you're going to see the good stuff. All the contests. Sometimes I just give stuff away, mostly Steam games, because I've got a good uh, cache of Steam games. So uh, you can win prizes, get in on random giveaways. Uh, the Discord's a good spot to get in on stuff, is what get I'm saying. Get in on random giveaways. Uh, the Discord's a good spot to get in. All right, let me do that. Slash raid level up Leo. Here we go. Smelling garlic and onions. Tina must Tina must be doing her supper up. Alright. Let's -a go.